Hey everyone, how are you doing? In this video, what we are simply going to do is design a professional LinkedIn banner inside of Canva because how you present yourself out there, you know, gives people a certain impression about you. So you'd want to make sure you're putting your best foot forward. And that's what we are going to be doing in Canva today just to ensure that our LinkedIn banner is looking very sweet. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. So here we are in Canva on the home page. The first thing we'll just do is to come to Create Design, okay? And over here, what you're simply going to search for is LinkedIn. Okay, so LinkedIn, and we should have a number of options. So what you need to choose is the LinkedIn background photo. This is what you have to select, okay? Once you select it, it should bring you to, you know, a page where you should have your blank Canva, something like this. So this is what we are looking for. Now to ensure we are all on the same page, make sure you have a high quality photo of yourself because that's what we will need to, you know, make the banner come to life. So to clear that out of the way, the first thing we are just going to do is to come to elements and depending on what you do, the same format should work. I'm going to be designing this. Let's assume I was a construction worker. Okay. But if you are, you know, a consultant, a business person, look, the same format should work for you. Don't worry at all. Don't worry about, you know, the colors. Just everything should work for you. Okay, nice one. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm simply going to do, first of all, is to come to my element and I can just come here and search for construction. Okay, so construction, construction works. Okay, so once you come over here and I come into photos, so depending on what you do, if you are into business, you just have to find, you know, a photo that has to do with business. So we can just select this. Okay, since I'm into construction for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just position this here. Something like this sh should be cool. Now, the next thing I want to look for is blueprint. I'll just search for blueprint. Okay, and just also do the same blueprint. And this is what we have at the moment. Okay, so you can just choose which of the blueprint works with you. Okay, now one thing I also want us to do is to change this background from just, no, it shouldn't be plain white. Okay, so what I am doing here or what I have over here is F E F F F seven. If I'm correct, my eyes is I just hope my eyes are not deceiving me. So that's what we have at the moment. Okay. Now we'll just come here and we'll just make this blueprint bigger. Okay, so just make it bigger to fill the entire space. Then head on to transparency and reduce the transparency. Okay, you just want it to be faint in the background. So I'll keep it to five. So I just set it to five and something like this is perfect. Okay. Now, this is where we have to add our photo. So make sure you're uploading your quality photo. I'll just go into element to find, you know, one of the photos I've used in the past. Okay. So I'll just come back over here to recently used. And we have this, you know, African construction worker over here so let's assume this is me what we can do is to first of all we do remove the background okay i don't know why i was just trying to say remove background <laughs> to remove the background and we can just crop him nicely we want the focus to be on his face so you know we'll just make the size bigger and i'll just position him here like this okay so we want the image to cover the line you know where the two photos come together in the background so that's where we want the photo to be just to overlap it all you know so this is what we have at the moment now let's do something you know simple to make the photos pop out a little bit so click on the photo and come to edit okay so in canva what we can do is we can increase the contrast you know just to make the whites and the blacks you know just to differentiate it more the brightness you know just increase a little bit i'll just make it 11 the blacks i would sorry the whites first i'll increase the white and also increase the black a little bit now the highlights you know just something small like four all right now just increase the vibrance i think the photo is getting too bright so i will just reduce the brightness for the sake of this uh -huh. then the saturation can come up a little bit for clarity, I would increase it, you know, just slightly something like 13 or, you know, somewhere around 10 to 15 should, should work perfectly for you. Okay. So this is what we have at the moment. Let me also increase the shadow just slightly. Okay. So this is what we have. Now, 
let's add some text and let's try to make everything come to life. So what we're simply going to do first of all is press R on our keyboard, okay? And we'll just position this here. Now we have to make sure the colors are working together. You can see the yellow over here is different from what we have over here. So let's come to color. Let's come to add new color and choose the color picker. Okay, then we just pick this yellow, nice one. So this is what we have at the moment. Then press T on your keyboard to add the text, make it bigger. So this way, I want you to add your transformational text. Okay, so I can simply say I build strong lasting buildings from ground up. This is just something I just had to come up with. So <clears throat> make sure you're also coming up with something. And we'll just keep it bold. And we'll just keep it bold. Okay, just make everything bold, beautiful. We'll tuck it in by reducing the line spacing until we have something like this. Okay, this is very, very simple. Now, in this shape over here, what I want us to do is first of all, duplicate our text, remove the bold. And, you know, usually people will say maybe they are the top 10 workers. They are, you know, they've certain prizes or certain achievement. All I'm simply going to say is LinkedIn. <laughs> this is just something I'm just coming up with. Okay, so LinkedIn construction worldwide. Okay, so this is what I will just have for now. And I'll just place it over here. Okay, and we'll just keep it simple. Very simple like this. Nice one. And we'll select everything, you know, and we'll just bring it down a little bit. Okay, then the next thing I want to do is I'll just duplicate this text and bring it down here. Okay, so... Once we have this, all we we'll just do is we would remove the color. So come to color and choose no color. Okay, then you come to the stroke style and choose the light. Okay, and now just make it, you know, two. The stroke width to be two. I think that should work for us. Then we can just duplicate this and put this here. So as part of maybe some of the things you get when working with me, it would be maybe 24-7 supervision. Okay, so 24-7 supervision. That's one of the things because people want to make sure whatever they are building is being supervised, you know, so that things can be finished quickly. So we'll position the text in this box. Okay. So that's what we'll do. We just have to make sure everything is looking clean. And to maintain consistency, I will just, you know, delete this. So I'll just move it up here so that I just get deleted. And I'll just duplicate this one you know this box and just place it here and duplicate the text as well and just you know place it over here and what we are going to say over here is maybe you also get weekly report you know weekly reports from me on your the progress of your um you know your project or whatever it is so there's also something you get okay now we'll select everything over here and move it to the top a little bit okay and even just with this box these boxes we we'll also just make move it to the top a little bit all right then we'll duplicate this position it here then you know just increase the size okay so at this point you just want to pr prove you know with your credibility who have you worked with in the past you know some brand deals some collaborations you're just going to place the logos over there okay so i would just come into my uploads but just to find some logos high quality logos inside of canva all you need to do is to come to apps and search for brand fetch okay so once you search for brand fetch logo you should come in here and it should load beautifully okay so this will you know where we have it once you click on it, all we can simply do is just come here and type the brand. So let's say we want to add KFC. Okay, so you can just say KFC and you can see we have the logos in here. You can just, so any brand at all, once you add it, it gets added into your upload. So I'll just come into my upload because I have some over here. So I have, um, how is it called? Is it Hitachi? Yeah, Hitachi to so just make it white. Okay, and you're also able to change the colors. Once you add them, you're able to change the colors. So. We'll just keep it like this. Then I have cut, you know, so you can also add whichever one you feel you want to have in your design. So have cut, we'll place it over here. We can also add Tata Motors. Okay, so Tata Motors is a construction, you know, they deal with like heavy duty stuff. So that's what I'm going to add. Then I'll just change the color to white. Okay, just so we can keep it consistent. So at the end of the day, we are aiming for consistency okay so you can see how things have been designed over here 
Now, since this is white, I think it's just best just to make it consistent. So we just keep the sticks as white as well. And then we would want to highlight. So what do you do? I build strong lasting buildings. So I just want to make people focus on the strong lasting buildings. So I'll select that text, come here and make it yellow just to make everything match. And you can see how beautiful this is looking at the moment. And like I said, depending on what you do, it doesn't matter. This format should work for any kind of LinkedIn banner you are trying to, to create. Okay, so don't worry at all. Okay, and um, yeah, that's what we've been able to do. I hope you found it helpful and also very easy to create inside of Canva. Let me know what you think about this. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Just let me know in the comment section below. The name is Benjamin and always remember, always remember, there is no limit to creativity, but if you're in the free version of Canva, then there's some limit to creativity. So I have a special link in the description box below that should help you upgrade to Canva Pro for free. So make sure you are checking it out as, you know, accompanied with some templates I have linked down below, free templates for you. So yeah, the name is Benjamin. Always remember there's no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video. Peace.